Hello, welcome back to the Beastlands. I'm Castle, and this is my stupid face. Thanks for coming back and hanging out with us once again as we journey deeper into the forgotten lands known as Memorand. We're going to do a quick recap, but I'd like you to know that we're currently holding a contest. It is an art contest. Any kind of fantasy art is welcome. Uh, we don't currently have that many applicants, meaning it's going to be really easy for you to win. Uh, so drop a drop us an email with your application to Call of the Beastlands uh, at Google.com. Without further ado, here's our show. All right, welcome back to the Beastlands, everybody. Hello. Hello. As always, I'm your host. Okay. These are my players. We got Miss Dirk. We got Hi, you. We got you guy. Uh Lesk and uh Gizzard present. Missing a couple players. That's okay. We'll run with it. I think Odie's desperately trying to tell me he needs to go outside. Probably. Probably. So I was gonna see if you guys wanted to do a thing at some point we could even do it tonight maybe um i like doing things well yeah i was going to switch up the uh opening sequence to the videos and i was gonna see if you guys each wanted to record a opener and then it'll we could just like take turns with it on the channel oh that'd be cool like yes. character introduction or something like that uh well show introduction but like in your character's voice or just as yourself or whatever. Oh. And then it's what I have recorded before the show, you know, before we start talking and bullshitting. Do you have this typed out? What do like you mean typed out? Like a script of how you want us to do it? Oh, I mean... Hi, I'm your host, Castle. These are my players. <laughs> No, I mean, not like that. It's just like, uh... Hi, I'm Dirk. Welcome back to the Beastlands. <laughs> Welcome you to know, Five Nights at Freddy's. Like <laughs> <laughs> you have not played time together. You know what I mean? Just as an example. Like, hey, like, hey welcome, welcome back, back to, to the Beastlands. Beastlands. This is Gizzard. I'll be your guy tonight. Like, praise Thor. We have arrived back in the Beastlands. Bow before his awesome might and join us sir, uh, during our show. You know, so, like, I don't know. Uh, I can uh, do something. <laughs> but, as for our recap. Um, last time in the Beastlands, we had slain some bullets who were attacking the um, trade route to the south of uh, Todier's stronghold. The Great Ironwood Tree Fortress. Let's see. Then we made our way back to the fortress. And fuck, what happened after that, guys? Uh, uh we did, did Toadie Toad thing. Oh, yeah. You guys made it back. And then, uh, segue cutscene over to Toadie, who spent some time in the, the Lich's Lair Tower. Uh, that, that was our show. Worked there for thirty days. Yeah, something like that. He has to return the favor. So yeah. Anyway. Yeah, yeah library, library is worth, is worth of, of archives, archives in a month. <laughs> but the good news is he travels a hell of a lot faster than you guys on foot. So mm. even if you were to uh, go somewhere, he surely could catch up, right? Definitely. I mean, it's possible. Wow. It's at right. this point. Wait, are, are we walking there? What are we doing? <laughs> uh, you would have re recently arrived back at the fortress through the uh, an opening in the great vine wall that surrounds it. I say we come to an opening between Lusk and Dirk. Dirk <laughs> is they're very bored. And then he's like, Hey, Lusk. Yes, dear. I spy with my little eye something 
Blue. Something blue. Hmm. It wouldn't be the sky, would it? Dang it! <laughs> Your turn. What does he oh. win? Uh, nothing. He just gets a point. I win the no. right to guess. He played the game. Five. He wins a prize. What does he win? Uh, you, you, you want a, a copper piece? <laughs> he wants gold. <laughs> Okay. Apparently, I want gold. I I hand over one gold. Is it because it's Extra sterile? Or like the taste? taste? I have it. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen spies paid more than that. Come on. <laughs> I mean, if I mean, anyone, if anyone was going to eat, gonna eat it, it, it would be would... you. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, yeah, so <laughs> your turn, Lesk. Uh, well, then, uh, I spy with my little goat eye something brown. Is it that piece of dirt? No, it, it, is it is just that the dirt? dirt? Not that dirt either. How about this piece of dirt? Nope. That piece of dirt. Uh, I, would you like a hint? <laughs> dirt spins around really fast. That piece of dirt. No. Gizzard's gonna lean down, down between, between both, both of them. Of them, them and go, is, it is it the bark, it on, the bark on the tree? tree? Yeah. Okay. It, <laughs> it was the bark. Oh on the my tree. goodness! How are you two so good at this game? Give him the wage <laughs> of a spy. <laughs> I'm just I gonna gizzard. turn my head to look at Dirk. Open, Open my, my eyes, eyes as, as wide, wide as they, as will, they go. will go. I'll go. No. I just look at things and see a no. lot. I wish my eyes were that big. It's the owl face on uh, Gizzard extends its ocular sockets to questionable heights. Wow, that's that's uh, wow, that's kind of grossing me out. <laughs> oh, if, if you think that that's weird, weird, this is normal, normal for me. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep, keep spinning, spinning my head, my head and, and look back, back at that. Yeah, yeah. Does this, Does this freak, freak you, you out? Yeah. Not really. I've seen you do that lots of times. Just kind of a thing you do. Yeah. I mean, I can't speak. Of... My head properly forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> you friggin' goofballs. <laughs> Gotta love D and D sometimes, though. Yes. <laughs> so anyway, um, the hustle and bustle around the fortress is fairly active, if uh, slow paced. They are still on something of like a nervous edge since the uh, recent deaths, but nothing too outlandish. Um, the newest uh, batch of caravanners hasn't arrived yet. So what would you guys like to do? Um... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess yeah. Dirk so, at this point could go and visit Dirtle's statue, I suppose. Okay. Go a couple hours out of town to um, Dirtle's rest. Mm -hmm. Hey, here's a question. What did you guys name the bar here at the fortress? I don't think we ever did name it. I think you kind of have to, though, right? I think there was a name at one time. I thought Tody knew. Maybe he did. That's a cop out if I've ever heard one. Lesk. <laughs> <laughs> Scribe. Uh, Y'all don't, don't want Gizzard, want Gizzard naming things. <laughs> you Let you name it. I, I right. passed this <laughs> this responsibility on to you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tell me the function of this building. 
It is where one goes to imbibe liquids and foods and seek camaraderie. Is that all? Mostly. Does anyone want to add anything? Mostly liquid. The mostly liquid. <laughs> <laughs> See the bartender kind of sink his eyes a little bit, like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the mostly liquid bar. It's the MLB. <laughs> MLB. The MLB. They We're going to go the world's to the drinking MLB. series every once in a while. Right. Of course, uh,. The bartender there, a rather short, even for rabbit folk, uh, fellow, has your tea ready, Dirk. Uh, you're such a regular there that he doesn't even have to ask you. Nor are any of you charged. Okay, okay I may, I may, may make, make a make suggestion. It. We could just, we could call, just it call it the wet, wet whistle. whistle. I'm There's pretty no sure. <laughs> pretty sure you just named it. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty bad, though. That's why you named it. I don't know why Lesk uh, passed the buck like that, but if you're going to ask you to name something, then it's probably going to suck. No offense. I am important. <laughs> Use creativity is limited. I want you supposed to be a proficient assassin, assassin not a vacuum not a cleaner. Oh, the I kill way... things. And I killed this naming. <laughs> the only way you get better and its reputation. Practices. <laughs> yes. Without any practice, how is he expected to get better? So, um, tonight, uh, they have some large chicken-like bird only several times larger roasting over a spit a uh, fresh cask of hoppy beer has been broken open the camaraderie is heavy in the room as the various races mostly goat folk and uh, rabbit folk and mantis uh, mingle and trade stories corner though there is a short little lizard folk with beady sideways facing eyes uh playing on a guitar singing about the legend of rock is this a is person, this a person or, or an animal? animal this is a person oh i know this person very well Dirk doesn't, but I do. <laughs> He's singing softly. Oh. And it creates a rather nice ambience. And uh, the door opens. And in walks a stranger. One that does not uh, appear familiar in any way. The closest resemblance to him that you've ever seen was Bolgrat. He shares several similarities with him. Um... Off-colored skin, fur on some parts of his body and not on others, horns, a tail, forked tongue, and he's got, like, a duffel bag with him. So he's a tiefling? I mean, that's the closest resemblance that you can muster. I guess I'm gone at this point. I wouldn't be in this scene. <laughs> nope. You wouldn't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't you share, share meals, meals with your with friends? friends? He said he was going to the um, Shrine of Turtle. He was going to go say hi to his brother. Yep. Yeah. Who are you, oh. strange stranger? No, I remember the, this guy's name. Interesting. 
Don't remember your own name. Yes, of course. Did you get, Did you hit, get on hit on the head? On the head? Are you like you? You know what? You're not even talking to this guy yet. Shut up, fools. <laughs> <laughs> I like to imagine that every time Gizzard just interjects, he just spins his head around and just <laughs> rapidly inserts himself into In the any time. Any time he has the opportunity to just move his head in a way that most everyone else can't, he will. Because he's a show off. Yes. Yes. He loves the reaction. I'm just imagining this scene being played over every time Gizzard says anything. Like like oh, one of those uh fairly odd parents cartoons you see in the middle middle of the corner, or it could be upside down, or it could be from the side screen. Basically if Cosmo was actually a genius. Yes. <laughs> but it's like it's like I'm imagining that through every single conversation with that only Gizzard's head just pops in from the most randomest of places. I think Blizzard and Cosmo would get, would get would along, get along far, too far too well, well and the world well. would just end. <laughs> Freaking nerds. <laughs> That's why That's we, why need, we a need a Wanda. Wanda. Cosmo. Boys or asses. Yes. Wanda. Blizzard gets caught up what could be instead of what already is. I'm Doug Dimmadome of the Dimsdale Dimmadome. Doug okay. Dimmadome, home of the Dimsdale Dimmadome. That's a wonderful name for this tavern. <laughs> Doug <Dog> Dimmadome. <laughs> We're not doing that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Doug oh. Dimmadome. Why again? Welcome to. We could call it the Dunk Dunk. <laughs> Dirt. Dirtle's Dirty Distillery. Home of the Dirtle's Dirty Distillery. We don't clean. What? In the hell? Uh, you know how hard it is to find a creature that you don't know the name of on roll twenty. Uh, you can give you me Google it. I could um, Google it. Uh, describe its features? No. Okay, well. <laughs> so it looks, I did. It looks, like, it's 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 it looks like a tiefling. It's got a bag. bag. He's a hobo. <laughs> <He's>... <laughs> Yo. <laughs> That's a good quality. Now, is this like knowledge or a denial? <laughs> it's not a name like you <laughs> what's wrong with you's name what is wrong with you's name indeed because it's just going to try and you? get Lesk's attention <laughs> so uh, hey, hey uh, uh, Lesk I've, I've noticed that you're the that one, you're the one, one that kind of kind handles of the Administrative side of things. Uh, it reminds me of my days taking care of the shrines back in my village. But yes, continue. So, so you, would you would probably, probably you, you, you and Tony would, would probably be the people, people to talk to about starting certain projects, projects within the community, the community and. Yeah. Um, Making Make sure that sure the that resources, resources and funds, and funds required, required for such projects, such projects are able to be procured and such. Right? Right. I suppose so. Okay. What is it that you have in mind? Well, there well, are there a few are things, things, actually. Um, um, most, most immediates immediate among, among them. them would be, would be. I had it ready. and uh, Gizzard's probably Gizzard's gonna, probably gonna fluff, fluff around, around into his pockets, his pockets and, then and then actually pull out a piece of paper, paper that's all crinkled up and all kinds of 
been through all kinds of just not okay okay stuff. And he's going to... First off, off, uh, uh, well, that's that's for Paul. Paul, um, We'd have to ask him what what he would need. But I would like to to be able to figure figure out out how those those little little weaving spiders spiders that I I nabbed, how to make more of them. Those would be very beneficial and productive in not just producing more more of the the outside that 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 we have through Poe, but also also just making making like textiles textiles and other such things. Again, again and possibly, possibly hiring, hiring someone, someone to look through, look through and, categorize and categorize what would be, what most, would be most useful, useful amongst of, those tomes. No. I, would really I would really like, like to, to get information, information on, on the general, the general area, area, such as, such as like what, what kind of plants, plants, animals, the kind I'm, of like what like trails, trails and what kind of resources industry. are available in this immediate area. That's, that is quite a lot. Yes. yes. Um, uh, there are there a few are things, things I would like, like to, to uh, figure out how, how to produce, produce them. Like, we all we know, all about, know the, about the, the fish skips, skips, right? right. We've all, We've seen, all them seen them at this point. At this point. Mm-hmm. So I would definitely definitely like to be able to make make more of these barrels. barrels. That would be... be, I'd love love to spend some time with that that and be able to figure that out. And we could just increase increase our profits profits through here here and and um, possibly even cheese. cheese. I would love to get some more goats. Cheese, Cheese. goat milk, milk, cashew. cashew. These are wonderful wonderful things things to to trade. Well, the main problem that we have right now is that, to be completely honest, we're, we've filled up this space available to us um, just about completely. Yeah, yeah. We are the to make... can help in clearing the outside of the walls a bit. Mm-hmm. But uh, currently There's most of our... More you should help. 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 Not completely, Not completely clear, clear it, but just, just get rid of some of the vegetation and such. Mm-hmm. I, I would hear just like to see this place thrive. The current plan for expansion was to make another moderate-sized building uh somewhere outside of the this place's dome of influence uh in order to continue building out uh places for people to work and other things like that so once that is completed those buildings you've been mentioning there's these things making more magical items and keeping track of the these places can be thought of but first we need to acquire the funds to make a new building and expansion to our town right and how and much, how is, much needed is needed ah that? Uh, that truly depends on how much we want to expand basically, basically kind of asking, asking, do you need, you an, need assistant? an assistant um possibly i'd be happy to offer my services or post okay. He's quite excellent quite at these kinds of things. Don't you spend most of your days elsewhere doing all sorts of crap? Don't you have, like... Gizzard goes wherever, goes wherever his, his interest, interest is, is at the time. <laughs> Whatever <laughs> occupies his mind. I, th- I thought you spent your times writing spells down and researching magic theory or whatever it is you do. I do often you theorize. theorize. I don't... don't... It takes me quite a lot to be able to actually develop any kind of spell and and such. In fact, fact, he's going going to to toy with his little little, uh, uh, miniature miniature chest chest to summon his chest chest and actually pull out out his just 
completely, completely seemingly, seemingly disorganized, disorganized binder, binder that is that a spell book to transcribe, transcribe everything, everything I have I in here, here and it's going to pull going out the out new, new book with open pages, pages and go, everything, everything I have, I have in here, here to, to in here, in here this, this would take, take me a couple of weeks, weeks and 4,000 4, gold worth of resources in order to just move, move all, of all of my spells that I that don't I know would have the formulas formula for into, into this book. This just just copying, copying it over would take, would take around what about 70 electrum? hours. <laughs> I don't you as long mention as that I can get the inks and <laughs> the curse begins. <laughs> as long as I get the correct gem ingested gem inks, inks and the right and pens and, and nib in order, in order to, properly to properly transcribe it in the correct way, way and formula it's, 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 it's quite it's tedious, tedious and quite expensive. expensive. I can I know the theory behind something, something all day all long, long, but without, but without actually... actually Having the, having the whole process, process down, down, I can't exactly do it. Kind of, kind like, of like if you, if you don't, don't mind, mind the clock, it won't, it won't work. work. You know what you I know mean? What I mean? Yes, I see your point. So Electrum it is. <laughs> 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 I mean, to use it as a currency is, yeah. as long as long it's accepted, tech. I don't see any reason why not. Yes, <laughs> to the right person. Well, either way, to get down to the point, uh, what is immediately? I think we have space to build one more sort of building within our residence. Oh, oh. To, in to, in to, in to, in to increase... To increase Income, Income, really. Mm -hmm. uh, who has who the has... task of time? Is the what? The barrel, the barrel that, that does, does five, five times, times the, the normal, normal rate. rate. Uh, that was Todie, wasn't it? He was the one with the bag of holding, and when he reached into it, the... Uh casket barely squeezed out correct mm -hmm. oh so oh, we so don't, we know, don't about know about that just yet I, well I think, uh, I think you do yeah yeah no, no he was here when that uh when we were doing the fish all oh, right oh, right he got that before he went off on his journey right right mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. okay do we know do we if know he left, if left behind? it behind yeah it's currently in the tavern making oh. us five times as much uh tavern gold which originally was 100 now is a 500 yeah, I would like to be able to figure, to figure out, out how to, how to make, more make more and oh. use that uh, for not just, just alcohol, alcohol, but, but also, also like, like cheese, cheese and, and other fermented, other fermented food. food. Where was the description of that object? It's, it's right, right. In the chat. Uh, this, uh, this. Oh wait, oh, wait. that's the wrong one. Is the mysterious box also in the chat, or is it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Gas yeah. It's like kind of I that up. barrel. So, um, out of character, unfortunately, wondrous items cannot be made. However, um, common, uncommon, and rare magic items can be made with the, uh, um, enchanter. So Your enchanter maybe, can't make wondrous items? Uh, if I go back to the... Um, da, 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 I didn't believe I saw a wondrous item as an option, because the rare items were already like 100,000 gold. Yeah, very, very rare. 300 days to make and 25,000. No wondrous items can make common or uncommon <laughs> rare and very rare magical items. Wondrous. Weird. Yeah, wondrous doesn't it's not about rarity. Like 
they're wondrous items in almost every rarity, so it's weird. I don't... Oh, well then, what... I see, so it's a common... Oh, never mind. I Sorry, I was looking at the wonders item barrel, and then I was like, all right, never mind. It should be able to. It's a common magical item. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Take. It would only take 15 days to make and 250 gold materials to make another one of those. Uh, however, we do not have an enchanter. We have a garden, a vault, a caravansary, an alchemist lab, and a tavern. Well, as long, well, as, as, long I... as I... So we as can make an, long... an enchanter... Yeah, and, yeah. and Gizzard, Gizzard and, and with, with, especially, especially with the help, with the help of, Bali. of Bali. And, and, and even less with those, those gloves, gloves, we could, we could possibly, possibly get, the, get, the, get like get one, one crafted. crafted. So, so instead, instead of, of 500, 500 a week, it's 1,000. Mm -hmm. Well, and um, then, when, there's when there's more time, more time make, make another, another one, one, and so on. So or teach, teach the, process the process once we have that available. That. Uh, is that what we want to do with our last room point? I'm fine with it. Being able to make magical items would be kind of interesting. And we actually do have the funds um, to uh, to make to make that just based off of town profit. Yeah, and there's and also there's the four thousand that, we, that got we got with, with the busted, busted up there. Honestly, Honestly Gizzard, Gizzard would. Personally, Personally, it should just, should go, just to go to the community, community or what the community yeah. needs are, because, because that's, that's where the money was going to be going anyway. Um, if we wanted to, we could put that money towards making the next um, outpost in order to get more room points for the place. But yeah. yes, we yeah. could very we could very well make a magic enchanter, and also. Uh, we should probably start thinking about the next major expansion. I was thinking possibly uh, a tower cost fifteen hundred, has three. Uh, sorry, yeah. yeah, three room points. Co uh, takes a hundred days. Comes with stables. That, that sounds pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. That, that. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, the exactly. wizard's not going to say no to you building a tower. Absolutely sure. not. No. <laughs> <laughs> Dark will climb onto the top of it and then fly off. Right? I mean, by I mean, the time, by the time it's, it's done, done, the wizard might, might be, able, be able, able to just make just... you fly. I can fly! I can fly, I can fly. And uh, what the stable does is, um, let's see, you, it has the ability to store four animals trained to be used as mounts and can hold, uh, or yeah, can hold four of these. And mounts that receive a long rest within the, within the stable have their movement speed increased by 10 feet for the next 24 hours. Yeah. As part of the expansion, oh. like, yeah. it would be it great, great to great have as much, as much information, information about, about the local, local area, area as possible. Because we Cause already we found, found out that there's, that there's all, all kinds of terrible beasties. Since to, Since the, to the, things to the primordial, primordial sense, sense or whatever. Primary, primordial primordial that was it, was it? That was less than that, right? right? Right after yeah, the, the uh... hmm? where you can sense, sense a bunch of different kinds of creatures, creatures within, within six miles. six miles. Within six miles? No, I, uh, I don't, I didn't do anything. That was like dirt. That was dirt. Was dirt. Yeah. Oh. Well, we still, well, still found out found that there was a bunch of, bunch of terrible, terrible beasties. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I believe all that he said about that was. This mountain range isn't safe or something like that. Fact. That's, That's still enough still for, for Gizzard, Gizzard to, to ask the question, question. Why? Why is it why unsafe? Is it... What, what, what are the what dangers? Are the danger? What are the threats? What are, the threats? And and are these threats are these potential, potential opportunities? opportunities? 
I know that's that that's a terrible way to think about things like something that could eat you. Just like, but if it could eat me, it could eat other things too. I just have to get it to the point where it doesn't want to eat me. Hmm. I, I say it frequently. Gizzard has no common sense. I see. A first person. <laughs> okay, well, he looks around for a minute and then he leaves. Yeah. Hmm. Right. Uh, well, I guess we will start work on that uh, enchanter. And I will subtract Aren't from you... the town of profit. Yeah, I will, I will also, also for right now. Dom. Dom. I will give, give four hundred. Four hundred. To we don't the general. They get paid every week. I know. Uh, I know. I'm just giving, giving money. money. For community, out of what, out of what I, personally I personally have, we haven't um, split up the loot from last time. Oh no, this oh, no, is this from, is my, from own my own personal, personal pocket, pocket that I've had, that since, I've had since creation. creation. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. By the yeah. way, you're aware that the town at this point pays for itself every week. Yes. Yes. As long as there's no problem with as the a, character. As a character, I'm aware. I'm aware. Well, as, right. a player, as a player, I'm aware. Gizzard is. Gizzard is he, uh, wants, he to wants to be able to, to, be able to figure. figure. That's one That's of, the, one of his the things. Is he wants to he figure, wants out figure out how to not, how to just, not make just make sure that sure the people, that here, people survive, here survive and thrive. Well, that four hundred will definitely go towards the oh, next. Wait, uh, yes, the next building we for, for, we also decide to make. For all intents and purposes, purposes Gizzard, Gizzard, Gizzard kind of wants to help. help. Make this make community, this community into a place, that, place is very that is very desirable to live. Now say that again, but in the first person. <laughs> what I really, what I really want, want, would, would love, would to, love do to do is this is wonderful, brand new, brand new community. Is I want, is to, I want ensure, to ensure not just survival, not just survive, but that we, but thrive, that we thrive. That, that people... people have, have a strong, a strong desire, desire to be to able, able to live, to live here. here. And I want and to, I give, want to them give them the tools, the tools and, resources and resources to be able to, be able to, to better, themselves better themselves to better the community. Better the community. You see where I'm, see where going, I'm going with this? this? And you think your 400 is going to do leaps and bounds in that area, I assume. No. No. <laughs> it is going to take a, a lot, lot of, of small, small steps. steps. But as but long as, as long we are not discouraged, are not discouraged by the amount, by the amount of small steps, small steps and the long and the time long it may time take, it take, we can still we can take still the take. small steps. I see. That is very admirable, my friend. However, what the community needs most that right now is really a way to deal with all these shape-shifting creatures that have been attacking us. Right. So if you could do something with your magic um, that could just, I don't know, somehow undo their shape-shifting or reveal who they really are, I feel like that might help the community the most. I've been hearing a lot of rumors that that so some people are scared any day Gizzard, now. Gizzard's actually going to be shuffling, shuffling through, through, through his through binder, binder and, 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 and checking, checking on his, his Whip of Warning Lord. spell. <laughs> I'm seriously just playing this scene in my mind as, as Gizzard's given the most profound thing about the village. Wes then steps in and goes, yeah, that's all great and all, but in my opinion... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it was just, it it was like a it reminded me of Con Kanye and Taylor Swift there for a second. That that's like exactly <laughs> that's exactly what I was going for. Okay. 
So I did so close, I did close the, glyph the Glyph of Warding spell, spell. In, chat. in chat. This is one, this of, those is one of those things that, that we can put we it can in put entrances, it entrances, access, access and such and things. It just, just, it's resource, it's resource heavy. heavy. And it, and it, it takes it an takes hour an for, each, for one. each one. What about resources? What does it, it take for resources? A diamond, di incense, incense and powder diamond, diamond, diamond worth at least 200, 200 GP, which the spell consumes. Spell consumes. Mm. But, but it remains, it remains active, active until dispelled or triggered. Yeah. Yeah. Well, more importantly, you could word it to go off when a, say, aberration walks on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if you do some research, Gizzard, you'll find that there are a ton of spells that can help in this area. Yeah. If this you can is, somehow make them available. Mm. Yeah. Truly, it's been quite mysterious as we've been attacked repeatedly at this point by creatures that can change their form and yeah. deceive. This is this just is what just I could have, have available, available to myself. With further, further research, research, I could probably find wait. something else well, or... Devise, devise something, something that would be, that would more, be more purpose, purpose built, built for what we're looking for. for well that's just that either time way. resources either way rest assured your magical enchanter is being built and i will think about possibly a library in order to help your little spider bots you have a enchanter already don't you no we do not we have an alchemist lab Oh. Mm -hmm. Wait, so are your building slots all taken up here or not? Yes. With okay, so you the have magical to build them. No, no, no. All right. So we had one left with the magical enchanter now being built, which everyone didn't, which everyone agreed on. Or gotcha. Or didn't voice their oh, I, of. I, I didn't. I didn't voice anything due to the fact that I'm not here in the scene, so. I tried to. Oh, yeah. Facing over to Dirk, real quick. Uh, <laughs> you stand before a windswept, snowy white uh, mesa, if that's the right word. Um, the town of Dirtle's Rest in the background as the civilians work on in their daily lives. A small raccoon man stands before a statue of a large and imposing looking possum. Uh, action? Action. Oh, okay. Uh, Dirk just uh, kind of looks around. Uh, is is the statue like in the city itself, or is it on like an overlook or something? There's a small graveyard on an overlook. I want to look at the graves. Graves. Yeah. Okay. Did you want me to name them, or... Uh, just... Maybe just glance at the name, if there was anything inscribed on these particular graves in particular. Oh yeah, some of them are newer than others. They, uh, detail names of... Mostly goat folk. Uh, people that have died recently, obviously. Um, several of which died during the, uh, attack from the Remorazes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Dirk just kind of goes over to the statue. Yeah. Well, guess what we did today? We walked. Like usual. It was boring. Until we fought these uh, weird giant things. Yeah. Since I can fly, I'm, I'm pretty much out of distance, but then I started worrying. What what if a dragon sees me in the middle of the sky? I'd be the only flying snack out there. All tasty and whatnot. It would just be weird. But it's okay. I got a spell, so if anything tries to eat me, I got, I got, I got spikes, and it all make them hurt when they try to swallow me. But, you know... 
So have you been? That's cool. You hear the wind whistling through the rocks. <laughs> well, that sounds boring, too. I wish I could take a nap every second of the day. Yeah. Follow us on all major social media, Discord, Twitch, and as always, thank you for joining us, and we hope to see you again next week.